This is Tuesday evening, March 31st, 2020. We just watched an update from the White House regarding the casualties of coronavirus so far. Over 3,000 Americans died during this war of virus and tens of thousands of other innocent all over the world. The president claimed that he did a great job, but still there is a possibility of between 100 to 200,000 people who may die during the next couple of months. He was saying that because of that, because he did a good job, he minimized the, the casualties. Otherwise, uh, he would expect over two million of people to die. It's a very frustrating and depressive news. I hope that that number of 100,000 to 200,000 would not happen. This is why we are making this du'a, this prayer number seventh from Sahih Sajjadiyya, the du'a of Imam Zain al-Abidin alayhi salam, Sahih considered Zabur al-Muhammad, very powerful prayer. I would recite this du'a in Arabic first, <coughs> excuse me, and then I made a translation this afternoon because I was not really impressed with the English translation that I checked this afternoon. It was very much word by word and sometimes you lose the meaning and the message of prayer. That is why I try to look at each sentence of the dua <clears throat> and made a general translation of each sentence in a sense that even if you read it in English, you get some idea and depth of the meaning like you are saying it in Arabic. Of course, never going to be the same, but I tried. Let us read the dua in Arabic first. <clears throat> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا من تحل به أقد المكاره ويا من يفثأ به حد الشدائد ويا من يلتمس منه المخرج إلى روح الفراج ذلت لقدرتك السعاب وتسببت بلطفك الأسباب وجرى بقدرتك القضاء ومذت على إرادتك الأشياء فهي بمشيتك دون قولك مؤتمرة وبإرادتك دون نهيك منزجرة أن 
أنت المدعو للمهمات وأنت المفزع في الملمات لا يندفع منها إلا ما دفعت ولا ينكشف منها إلا ما كشفت وقد نزل بي يا ربي ما قد تكأدني ثقل وألم بي ما قد بهدني حمله وبقدرتك أوردته علي وبسلطانك وجهته إلي فلا مصدر لما أوردت ولا صارف لما وجهت ولا فاتح لما أغلقت ولا مغلغ لما فتحت ولا ميسر لما عسرت ولا ناصر لمن خذلت فصل على محمد وآله وافتح لي يا ربي باب الفرج بطوله واكسر عني سلطانا سلطان الهم بحولك وأنلي حسن النظر فيما شكوت وأذغني حلاوة الصنع فيما سألت وهب لي من لدنك رحمة وفرجا هنيا واجعل لي من عندك مخرجا وحيا ولا تشغلني بالاهتمام عن تعاهد فروضك واستعمال سنتك فقد ذقت لما نزل بي يا ربي ذرعا امتلأت بحمل ما حدث علي هما وأنت القادر على كشف ما منيت به ودفع ما وقعت فيه ففعل بي ذلك وإن لم أستوجبه منك يا ذا العرش العظيم يا أرحم الراحمين Now let us 
I read the translation that the humble translation that I made this afternoon and try to make it as clear as possible. This is a translation of prayer number seventh of Sahifa Sajjadiyya. O oh Lord, you have the capacity to clear the clouds of these calamities. You can overcome the obstacles of adversities and afflictions. O oh Lord, you are the reference of our relief and freedom from the state of misery and helplessness. O oh Lord, your divine power will win the darkness of these difficulties. Your grace is the gate of all goodness and blessings in our lives. O oh Lord, our destination is decided with your determination and everything in universe is moved under your direction. Your will even before your words is honored and obeyed. O oh Lord, it is your divine desires that before your deeds drives away what is evil and ugly. O oh Lord, we call you at the times of urgent matters. You are the sanctuary and refuge for all of us during these disasters. You are, O oh Lord, the only one able to drive us out of these difficult days. O oh Lord, we are suffering. We are suffering under so much distress and breaking burdens so painful and hurting. O oh Lord, we know that nothing can happen in this world out of your domain and permission. No one can reject what you signed. No one can dismiss what you pointed to. No one can open what you locked. No one can lock what you opened. No one can help whom you rejected. O oh Lord, please send your peace and blessings to Muhammad the last prophet and his family and open to us the gates of your grace, the gates of rest, relief and comfort. Free us, O Lord, from the burden of fear, anxiety and grief. Please look at us with mercy during this state of fear and frustration. Let us taste, O oh Lord, the sweetness of your assistance and your answer for our cause. 
bless us, O Lord, and inspire us to find the way out of this calamity. O Lord, please don't let this terrible tragedy to distract us from our divine duties towards you and your prophet. This catastrophic crisis has damaged our capacity. We are very worried, O oh Lord, of what is happening in this world at this time. But, O oh Lord, we put our trust, our faith, and our hope in your help, in your healing, and in recovery from this calamity. Please help us, O oh Lord, even if we don't deserve it. But, O oh Lord, you are compassionate, you are kind. You are the kingdom of heavens and earth. You are merciful and loving Lord. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.